It is now legal for Californians to smoke marijuana, but how soon after you light up is it safe to drive? Well, UC San Diego researchers are trying to figure that out to help both users and law enforcement. And 10 News reporter Amanda Brandeis got a look at the driving simulator they hope will make our roads safer. Inside this small research room, a virtual road awaits volunteers. The left of the next intersection. We try as best we can to emulate the types of tasks a person normally would experience. Like turning left with oncoming traffic and facing the yellow light dilemma. When you're making a decision whether it's safe to pass through a yellow light. Study participants take a few test drives and then. They all get a, a joint that's rolled here. Uh, we actually roll it here. The joints have different doses from no THC to high THC. Whether or not. Researchers want to learn a few things. How does the dose affect your driving? And what's the effect a few hours later? If you smoked this morning, are you impaired throughout the day? Are you impaired for a couple hours or are you not impaired? Tom Marcotte uh, is with UCSD Center for We're Medicinal all. Cannabis Research. He says cannabis does impact driving. So when you have people do certain challenging tasks, they just don't do it as well. They tend to swerve more on the road take longer to break. But determining whether a cannabis user is impaired while driving isn't so simple. A habitual smoker can have THC in their system and not be impaired to drive. Rather than blood tests, California Highway Patrol relies on field sobriety tests. They really want to get the impaired driver off the road not just someone who has THC in their blood. UCSD and CHP teamed up for the study. After the driving simulation, volunteers go through field sobriety tests. So, to the back, close your eyes. The field sobriety tests, Left. really good for alcohol and good at getting psychophysiological responses where a person staggers and so forth. The effects of cannabis are more cognitive. So researchers are also incorporating iPad tests to try and better detect impairment, testing factors like memory, attention, and motor control. What they learn here could help identify new field sobriety tests for law enforcement. I mean, we really are unique in the country. In UCSD is leading the way with this research. Around. With 180 participants, it's the largest study of its kind so far. Studies like ours can give people a better idea how long they should wait before they, they drive. Hopefully making roads safer for everyone. Amanda Brandeis, 10 News. Researchers are also collecting mouth swabs and blood samples from those volunteers. The center is still looking for about 80 people. You must have some history of using cannabis. Participants get $50 for an initial visit and then $180 for the day-long assessment.